this is Kilo and today I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the most common styles and types of latches when you're installing your deadbolt or doorknob and just to note if you are trying to install a lock set on a home you just purchased or maybe your lock broke and you're trying to replace it and you're not cutting the hole yourself make sure that you measure the back set before you go down and pick up your lock set and if you don't measure it and you're already at the um, the store trying to pick it up just pick up one that's adjustable and this is because the standard latches that you're going to pick up at the store come in two sizes of two and three eighths and two and three quarters so if you didn't you know measure it beforehand it's smart just to go ahead and grab an adjustable latch. Most of the lock sets they sell now are adjustable. In the off chance that you picked up one that isn't adjustable, you're gonna probably have to go swap it out if, it's, if you're running into the problems we're gonna get into here. If you need help on how to figure out, you know, how to measure your back set, I'll go ahead and add a photo right here. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and dive right into the different versions and variations of adjusting your back set. So when you purchase your lock set, it'll come in two and three eighths or two and three quarters or an adjustable version where you can set them to whichever one you need. So we're going to go ahead and start with this quick set version here. This is really common on a lot of homes. And if you put your latch in and your doorknob is just off center, you know, one way or the other, the back set is off. So with this one, you have this pin that resides in this track here. He sticks through on both sides. You can see here you have your two and three eighths and your two and three quarters. So what we'll do here is we'll lift him up and over he's a little small so he's kind of funny to do that with but you lift him up and over and you have him now he will show you he is in the three uh, two and three quarters position so if you go to put him into your latch and he's too long and he's sticking out all you'll have to do is just lift him up drag him back over and he adjusts back to two and three eighths you'll see him here line up so that's how to adjust you know the more common quick set styles another very common style here on this defiant and you've, you'll see this on a lot of variations of the quick set brand uh, just a lot of um, off-brand locks now they kind of have this style you'll basically you know same issue if you put it in and it's off all you got to do with this one is pinch both sides of this square here and just pull him over to the right this one you would just push over to the left depending on you know where you need him so that's pretty much a common um, style here on this defiant they sell defiants everywhere now so there is a good chance that you might have went and picked up a defiant at your hardware store they sell them at Walmart and Home Depot so that's pretty much those two styles basically cover the bulk of your um, latches for your doorknobs for your deadbolts they have a few different variations so we'll go ahead and check this one out here when you're looking at him you know you might say okay I can't pull him there's no pin if I just push you know none of this wants to mess around and you're wondering you know what's this this is a track to where you basically just spin and I'll do that one more time you, you just hold both sides or however you want to do it and this kind of pulls at the same time that you spin so if you're having trouble like there you could jam up a little bit if you're pushing too much pressure but all you've got to do with these when you see this kind of track here is just spin them back and forth to find your position it's very common on a lot of these styles here this one as well 
you just I let's see this one is a Schlage so pretty much like I was saying you know this is a quick set and this is a Schlage so you're gonna come across the same just to show you guys the, regardless of the brand that you buy they all kind of copy each other in the styles that they adjust here you know we have let's see what this one this one's another another style like that this I don't know what brand this one is this one was just sitting in a bucket so but same exact concept so I just grabbed these three to kind of show you depending on what you're looking at they can look slightly different but that concept is the same so that's really a very common style to adjust your deadbolt this one you know someone had recently asked about this was the one that they had in um, the question they had asked me and they were trying to like push this in they were you know they told me they were pushing you know using a pen and all types of things to try to push this to pull it this one all you got to do as you see you hold the you know the plate here the strike and you twist you pull and you twist back very simple and you are now at two and three quarters if you are trying to this was how it was when they were showing me in the photo they were like this is too long how do I shorten it I've been you know pressing on this button for you know all day long and I can't get it to, to press in all you got to do is just twist it push it twist it back so I just wanted to show you guys that um, just because this was a question that did come up and based on the fact that I guess I couldn't explain it too well um, in text form I just wanted to make sure that the next time that comes up I could just send this video so that's really all there is to this one um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe. If you'd like to learn you know, more about locksmithing, uh, DIY videos, how to pick locks, anything like that, this channel is pretty much here to teach you and help you guys. And our giveaway is coming up on Friday. So if you haven't already subscribed, there's another reason to. To enter the giveaway, all you got to do is drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and on Friday we will be giving away our prize. So thank you guys again for watching. Appreciate you know, all of the feedback that you guys have been given. And you know, stay safe, good luck on your project, and have a nice day.